In this video, I am going to solve this problem. We are given y is equal to f of x, which is equal to square root of 4 plus 3 sine of x. We need to show that 2y times the second derivative of y plus 2 times the first derivative of y whole square plus y square is equal to 4. Given this y value in terms of square root, the natural tendency is to take derivative of the both sides. Okay. However, if you do that, it's going to lead you to an expression that's more complicated and may not lead to the final answer that we are looking for very easily. So, we need to be a little bit of creative here and then take the derivative. That creativity is basically take the square of both sides. So, if I square both sides, I'm going to get on the left y square and on the right hand side square and square root are going to cancel out. That's going to leave me behind with 4 plus 3 sine of x. Now I'm going to take the derivative of both sides, d over dx, derivative of both sides with respect to x, right? d over dx y square is equal to d over dx 4 plus 3 sine of x. Now the left hand side, by the way, I'm going to take derivative using the implicit differentiation. So it's going to be derivative of y square, which is just 2y times dy over dx. On the right hand side, I use the uh, addition property of derivative. So derivative of 4 is 0, which I don't need to worry about. Then 3 times sine of x, derivative of that is going to be 3 times cosine of x. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and take derivative again. So if I do that, I'm going to get following. By the way, on the left hand side, I'm going to use the product rule for derivative. So let's say this is my u and this is my v. So u times derivative of v is going to be 2y times d square y over dx square because I'm taking the derivative of dy over dx. So that's the second derivative plus v times derivative of u which is dy is my v dy over dx times derivative of u which is derivative of 2y implicit differentiation that's going to give me 2 times dy over dx and on the right hand side derivative of 3 cosine of x is negative 3 sine of x as all of you know about it. Now if I simplify it further it's going to be 2y d square y over dx square plus 2 times dy over dx whole square, right? There is a dy over dx, there's a dy over dx. That's going to give me this. Now, that's going to be equal to negative 3 sine of x. Now, at this point, what I'm going to do, I'm going to add y square to both sides. Add y square, add y square. However, on the right hand side, instead of adding y square, I'm just going to add this because y square is the same as 4 plus 3 sine of x. So it's going to be 4 plus 3 sine of x. Now, what I'm going to have on the left hand side is this. This expression on the left, but on the right, look, negative 3 sine of x, positive 3 sine of x, they cancel out. And that gives me just 4. By the way, this is exactly what we were looking for. So this is your final answer. Now let me quickly summarize what I have done here. Basically, um, I have taken the given y value at the function value and I squared it to get this and then take derivative of the both sides. I come up with this, then take derivative again of the both sides and I get this. And at the very last line, I just add y square to both sides and things cancel out and gives me the final answer. I hope that this discussion was helpful. Thank you very much.